Uh, I started out as a trial judge, uh, also known in Minnesota as a district court judge, uh, for 16 years. And then after that, I was on the Court of Appeals, which is an intermediate appellate court for 13 years. I am a trial lawyer for an insurance company. I was on a jury about 15 years ago in Hennepin County, which is Minneapolis. Uh, in either of two ways. Number one, uh, the main way is a governor appoints you to uh, that position, uh, or you can run for election if there's an open election opportunity. Um, and uh, even after you're appointed, after your first full year in office, you have to run for election and then you're re-elected if you do get re-elected every six years. Well, first you have to go to law school. So you go to um, undergraduate school and you get a bachelor's degree um, and then you apply to law schools. Um, but before you apply to law schools, you take a test called the LSAT and then you apply to law schools. Uh, law school is three years long and then you have to take the bar examination, which is a two-day, eight-hour test. Uh, it's a random selection process where uh, a pool of people that are registered drivers and, and registered voters are put into a list, and the court system has a computer program that randomly selects people to be part of a jury pool. Oh yes, there have been a number of rule changes, but um, um, two major ones are 
Uh, we're in the digital age now, and electronics have come into the court. So um, generally all papers are filed electronically rather than by paper copies. Secondly, uh, we have developed now uh, at the trial level uh, specialty courts, like there's a drug court, there's a veterans court, and maybe other specialty courts too, handling just the problems, for instance in the drug court, just the problems of people who have committed uh, crimes or have other difficulties because of the use of drugs. Absolutely. Um, I've been practicing for 27 years um, and the court rules, if you will, have changed many times. Um, our Supreme Court administers that in Minnesota. There are usually subcommittees that uh, come up with new, what we call rules of civil procedure, because I practice in civil law, um, and oftentimes there are changes that are made, um, and they have hearings. Uh, lawyers come and give their opinions as to whether the new rule is appropriate, um, and that it's uh, the Supreme Court decides. I think cases take too long to go to court. Um, it's difficult for people to remember all of the things that happened during the crime or whatever the case was about. Uh, so I'd like to see things go to trial quicker than they currently do. I think that the jury selection process, they, they do have controls in place to help weed out jurors that maybe aren't capable of being on a trial. Um, but based on my experience, someone with a bias was able to you know, be, on, be on our jury and so I think you know, they need to continue to improve the selection process and, and um, help identify people that maybe can't be impartial on the jury.